Welcome back! In this video we'll be covering tips on how to sew flimsy fabrics like chiffons. Remember Robin from the previous video? Now she wants to make a trendy sheer blouse but she's not sure how to go about it. Let's give Robin some ideas so she can make her new project a success. Number one, use loosely fitted silhouettes. What type of blouse should Robin make? Well she should stick with loosely fitted silhouettes because the fabric is loosely woven and won't look good or perform well in tightly fitted garments. She should also think about stress points and try to minimize those or find ways to work around them because sheer fabrics don't do well in stressful situations. Number two, it's not the easiest fabric to work with. Now this one isn't really a tip, but she should still watch out for this. Um, she should know that because it's not an easy fabric to work with, it's going to move around on her and require a little bit of working before she can actually use it well and it also frays easily. So Robin really wants to make this garment, so what can she do to get past these obstacles? Well she can look at number three, which is stabilize. She should treat her fabrics first with a stabilizer of some sort, either a spray starch, she can pin it to tissue paper, or dip it in liquid stabilizer. Using a stabilizer will stiffen the fabric to make it almost paper-like to keep it from shifting, stretching, or fraying during the cutting process. Just remember to test your fabric first. Number four, try to use a space big enough to cut out the pieces. Don't fold the fabric in half to cut out pieces that are on the fold. Just use one whole pattern piece and only cut it out of a flat single layer of fabric. Number five, new pins. When pinning her fabric, it may help to use longer needles without snags in them, like brand new quilting pins. Number six, no notching. Use tailor tacks or tailor's chalk instead. Number seven, Use fine needles and thread. She should use a very fine needle such as 70, 10, 65, 9, or 68, along with 100% silk thread, high quality fine mercenized cotton or polyester. Number eight, tape up the hole. Most sewing machines come with a foot plate that allows for zigzagging, in which case you'll need to place a piece of tape over the hole to keep the machine from eating the fabric. Punch a hole in it with your previous needle to keep gooey adhesive off for your fine needle and don't cover the dog feeds. Number nine, shorten the stitch length. Most projects call for a mid-range stitch, but make the stitches smaller for flimsy fabrics. And of course, you should test this out. Number 10, don't backstitch. She shouldn't backstitch to keep the fabric from being sucked down into the foot plate. Just leave a three or four inch trail of thread at the beginning of each seam and at the end and tie them off. Number 11, take care of your seam allowances. French seams are a good choice and they also work great with sheer fabric. Number 12, use a roll hem. If possible, please use a small rolled hem. And then number 13, wash out stabilizers. Just carefully wash out any starches or stabilizers that you might have used. If she practices on a scrap piece of the fabric she's going to use following the guide we've provided, Robin will have her chiffon garment made in no time. Now what about you? Do you want to learn more about pattern making to become a better fashion designer? Do you have burning questions about the complicated skill of making patterns? If so, follow the link in the description to tell me about your pattern making problems. And I'll try to make more videos like this answering your questions. And if you like this video, click the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. See you around!